How's everybody doing? Hey, is it cheaper to build a door or buy a door? Well, it's cheaper to build one. If you take your time, you can have a nice door. So what I've done here, I'm gonna clad the side of this and these strips. So these, this will be tacked directly onto here and then fiberglass. So what I wanna do, I'll get all my mats right now. And this is just a jig that I will take off. Got some bumper stoppers back here and, and back here so that it knows where to, how far up against, uh, up and down, keeps it from going up too high. And uh, I'll take this whole jig off, take a jigsaw and cut that out and smooth it real nice. And what I've done, I've cut this, this is an inch and three quarters bigger than what I want my door to be. So and the reason for that is because I'm gonna cut this with a router after I have it all clad. So the router will run in here up against my jig and from the edge of the jig to the back side of the bit is an inch and three quarters. So when I have it all clad with the, the veneer and have this cut out and this piece set back up here, then I'll take my jig and I'll run it around and follow all along my jig like this and then cut my door out perfectly. Now, if I want a window in here, I'm gonna need to cut my window first. Cut my window and then cut my door. And then lay my door aside and then fiberglass it uh, along on the edges, the bare edges, make sure it's good and glass and sealed from the elements. So pretty much that's the, what's going on there. And it's not hard to make a jig, you just make sure it's square. Measure from that corner to this corner, make sure it's the same both ways. Measure it three, three or four times, which is 27 and three quarters all the way down. And then this distance is here. And you can see here where I put some marks. So each time I get my, and remember, if you're measuring, let's say these two are five and a half. And this one's five and a half. You measure here and hold them tape measure like that, bumping against your piece of. Here we go. This is what I had to draw my arc with. So when you measure from right here to there and it comes out to two and three quarters, don't measure it like that. Be sure to clip it around the exact opposite, two and three quarters. So the next one is, let's say, three and a half and come here and it's three and a half. And do the same thing. Be sure to flip it over because this little thing, gizmo right here, is gonna take up some space. So unless you're gonna measure it all with this pointing to the center or pointing out, then measure like that. You know, if you have to, you have to, measure you know if, if you're the kind of person that's got to measure i want this to be facing the, and i don't know some people are that way make sure you do it the same on both sides because if you do it this way on this side and then measure across your measurement it's going to be off so you know, your arc is like that and let's say that hits it there versus like that uh, i think you know what i'm talking about but that's how i'm going to do my door and then i'll get me some freezer uh, refrigerator top hinges like I got from my last camper and bolt them on there. All right. Thanks for spending the time with me. Be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Ask a question. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks.